Hey, what's going on guys? Al Desha here, and today I'm going to do a re movie review of two uh, thrift store DVDs that I picked up recently. Um, the first is Rob Zombie's 31, right there. Came out three years ago, according to this, 2016. And Defendor with Woody Harrelson, right there. And this was 2010, so this has been out for nine years now. And I, when I saw this, I'd never heard of this movie, Defendor, and I thought it was, uh, I was uh, instantly curious. Uh, Woody Harrelson's a great actor, so I picked this up. I wasn't sure what to expect when I, when I was going to watch this, but I'm glad I did. This is, um, out of the two, this is my favorite movie out of, out of the two that I reviewed. And um, I've never been a big Rob Zombie fan. I've never gone out of my way to watch one of his movies. I think I've watched The House of a Thousand Rejects, maybe half of it one time. And it's got his daughter, Moon Unit, Zombie, in there. She's that one right there. And this one, I get the feeling, even though I've only seen maybe half half of one Rob Zombie movie, that I, th I think if you've seen one, you've seen them all. And that could be a bad thing or it could be a good thing. Um, definitely heavy on the production value, the makeup, the costumes, over-the-top grittiness, um, things like that. And um, that part I appreciated. But I didn't feel anything for the um, the protagonists in this movie. They go into the situation um, pretty much assholes themselves. So I didn't really feel bad for them. And it's an over-the-top uh, slasher uh, movie. And the best thing I think about this movie, um, other than the ending, I mean, not the ending, but the fact that the movie ended, was um, it's got one of the sweat hogs in there. Freddie Boom Boom Washington, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. So I think that's the bright spot. I'm glad he's still out there making movies and things like that. But um, like I said, it, I, I can imagine if I've seen one Rob Zombie movie, I've seen them all. I get that impression. So, I mean, if you're into that over-the-top slasher kind of uh, vibe, definitely check this one out. It's it's Like I said, the production value is great. It's um, um, a lot of blood splatter, a lot of, um, the makeup, the costumes are really good like that. And... Um, but I just didn't feel for any of the characters at all. I didn't care all the way through the movie, no matter how gritty how um, um, they were. I, I didn't feel any tension when they were all about to get slaughtered. Sorry about my dog in the background. But um, I mean, it's not a horrible movie, but um, I think I just watched all of Rob Zombie's movies all in this one right here. And let's go on to Defendor. This one was... Um, one I, I'm glad I picked up, it like obviously stars uh, Woody Harrelson, it has Elias Cotes, I think I say that name right, um, Michael Kelly, Sandra O, oh, and Kat Dennings. And Kat Dennings was the um, supporting um, actor in this movie, and she did a really great job. In the movie, basically, um, Woody Harrelson, as a child, loses his mother. Um, she has to go away, she never comes back. He sets out to find her, and he believes he's he identifies the comic book characters and all that. That's why he takes on the persona of his own comic book character, Defendor. And um, he's he believes he's looking for a uh, comic book villain that took his mother through a misunderstanding, uh, talking with his, uh, I believe it was his grandfather when he was very young. So he's looking for somebody that doesn't exist. And he gets to the point where um, he, he runs into Kat Dennings, rescues her from a bad situation. And... Um, he ends up um, fighting a real criminal uh, in the movie, a real uh, a real criminal in the movie, and um, helps take him down um, uh, unintentionally. He he believes these are the people that took his mother, and um, he doesn't realize that they're actually real criminals. So uh, and it's it's a it's not the it's a good movie. It's a feel good movie. It's. Um, Definitely one you should check out if you find it online somewhere to rent it or, or buy it like I did. This was I got this at the, the ARC for $1.99. So definitely, like I said, I've never heard about it before, but I'm, I'm glad I did pick it up. This was pre a pretty good movie. Um, Woody Harrelson does a great job in his, his role there as an adult with a childlike um, mentality. Um, he doesn't, he's not really special needs, but they don't, they don't say that, but he takes on this um, child like personality and um he he wears the defender costume um trying to find his mom and it's a pretty good cool story so i would definitely recommend this one 
over um, 31. This one, it's good. It's a good slasher film. But like I said, I just didn't care if the protagonist in the movie died or not. Yeah, I didn't really care. It's um, I didn't feel anything for them. They were assholes going in. So they get what they get. But it did star Lauren Silton Jacobs from Welcome Back, Cotter. And uh, Malcolm McDowell's in here also. So that's got that going for them. Plus they have the... Um, Midget Nazi psycho killer right there that speaks Spanish. So <laughs> that's it for today. Defendor and 31. Uh, check out Defendor. Check out both of them, I guess, if you just want to kill a couple hours with um, 31. But definitely Defendor. And uh, I will be back soon with another uh, movie thrift store movie review shortly. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back later. Bye.